In this week in military history, we explore the Battle of Elau during the War of the Fourth Coalition, the first battle that Napoleon Bonaparte and his army were not victorious. Emperor Napoleon I commanded the Grand Army and was opposed by General Levin August von Benningsen, commander of the Prusso-Russian Army. In the lead-up to the Battle of Elau, there were many small skirmishes between the advancing French and the withdrawing Russians and Prussians. General Benningsen's force reached Elau in East Prussia on the Pazmaur River, approximately 20 miles south of Königsberg. Russian Field Marshal Barclay de Tolly's brigade defended the town of Elau itself. French troops arrived on the afternoon of February the 7th in Elau to prevent General Anton Wilhelm von Leschdok's Prussians from joining Benningsen. As fighting commenced, the town's cemetery became a focal point, with both sides taking and exchanging this ground repeatedly. By late evening, the French held the town. Both sides each suffered roughly 4,000 casualties on the 7th. This horrific count served as a premonition of the next day's losses. Battle began anew on the 8th, with General Benningsen's forces having a slight advantage in troops. Again, the tide turned with General Lestock's units managing to slip past Marshal Ney and reinforce Benningsen's left flank. Napoleon himself attempted a diversion to buy time to gather his troops into line, and once he decided that it was time to attack, he ordered Marshal of the Empire Pierre Augereau's divisions forward. Augereau's attack resulted in high casualties, 700 killed and more than 4,000 wounded. Augereau was wounded himself, taking a bullet to the thigh. With Augereau's troops annihilated, Murat led his men forward to continue the fight. Fighting persisted for a further 14 hours with high casualties on both sides. On the bloody snow, neither side was able to claim decisive victory. For Napoleon, however, who had been previously victorious in battle, it was his first stalemate. Even as the French withdrew, Napoleon's troops were devastated to the point that they could not give chase. The casualties for Napoleon's forces totaled approximately 18,000 killed and wounded, with another 1,000 men captured. The Prussians lost 23,000 men dead or wounded, with another 3,000 men taken prisoner. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.